So this week, uh, there's been a big announcement by the New Zealand government. On the 8th of April 2021, Jacinda Ardern, which is the New Zealand Prime Minister, announced that uh, travel into New Zealand from India, including for New Zealand citizens and residents, will be temporarily suspended starting today on Sunday, the 11th of April, because of the high number of COVID-19 cases. All right, so um, we're going to cover that news. So on the 8th of April, uh, Jacinda Ardern, which is a New Zealand Prime Minister, she made an announcement and she said that coming to New Zealand from India will be restricted, uh, completely basically banned uh, for a period of 14 days uh, starting on Sunday the 11th of April because India is suffering a lot of COVID-19 cases. So the news was confirmed by the G Director General uh, of Health, which is a Ashley Bloomfield, a hero, um, the travel ban will be uh, for an initial 14 days, so from the 11th of April to the 28th of April, and is expected to be temporary. Uh, this is the first time that New Zealand residents are being forbidden to fly back to New Zealand. So the cause of the travel ban is the huge spike of cases in India. India is uh, reporting a seven-day average of 93,000 new cases per day. So it's close to 100,000 new cases per day, per day. And for that reason, it really looks like the, the, the virus is so out of control that the New Zealand government is not willing to take extra risks. So New Zealand is currently operating a quarantine a system for travelers wishing to come into the country. So visitors have to book a spot into government managed facility in New Zealand and stay isolated um, uh, for 14 days before being allowed into the country. Visitors also have to pay a fee to be able to stay in those quarantine facilities and the fees is around 3,100 New Zealand dollars at the moment. So in New Zealand, we have daily cases reported in our quarantine facilities, but almost none or very little in the community. So for example, on the day of announcement, which was the 8th of April, and there was 23 new uh, positive uh, COVID-19 cases in managed isolation in New Zealand. And out of those 23 cases, 17 of them arrived from India. So uh, if you look at the broader and larger data, in the past two weeks, 80% of the COVID-19 cases which have been reported in the quarantine facilities in New Zealand were linked to India. That's a major, major number. The aim of the New Zealand government is to have no more than 10 border cases per day. So knowing that we try to only have 10 or less border cases per day, and that... Um, 80% of our cases uh, arriving in quarantine are currently coming from India. We start understanding why New Zealand made um, such decisions to go uh, over uh, to go over the, the 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 you know the step of making those ma major drastic restrictions. So again, if you look at just the average of what has happened in New Zealand in the last two weeks, 80% of the cases have been uh, coming from India. So I have a quote for you from the health minister, Mr. Chris Hipkins. And he says, uh, this ultimately buys us a bit more space to work out exactly wh why we are seeing such a high number of positive COVID-19 cases coming from India. We have looked into whether we have issues with the accuracy of the pre-departure tests. That has not demonstrated that it is where the problem lies. So this suspension gives us a bit more time to look at the issue more generally. So again, basically what it means is that the New Zealand government um, did uh, look and did an investigation into the testing facilities in India to see if maybe India was struggling into delivering accurate tests and were sending people in New Zealand with a, with a valid kind of um, uh, a pass saying, oh yeah, you know, they do not have COVID-19 and then, you know, they were actually, the, the tests were wrong. So it turned out that the testing facilities were correct and accurate so that's not where the problem is. So they're trying to figure out all the reasons why we're getting so many cases from India, despite the fact that the restrictions for people coming from India are exactly the same than people coming from other countries. 
So um, while New Zealand has announced a quarantine-free travel bubble with Australia starting on the 19th of April, the country is closed to all other countries with resident and citizen travelers having to book, pay, pay for and stay in quarantine facilities in New Zealand for 14 days when entering the country. So this is a restriction that applies for every single country and used to apply for India as well. But for those 14 days, it won't happen. So the travel ban will be for an initial 14 days, starting from the 11th of April to the 28th of April, and is expected to be temporary. And there, will, there is no exception to this rule as far as we are aware of. So I know that most every single time we publish a video on this channel, you guys give us your specific case and ask us if there will be an exception. As far as we're aware, it's a blanket restriction, blanket tra travel ban, and there is gonna, not going to be any restriction. So everybody will have to wait after the 20th of April to see if anything will be changing. It's completely blanketing everything. So if you did book travel from India to New Zealand between the 11th of April and the 28th of April, uh, you will need to contact your airline to cancel your flight. You will need to contract the Ministry of Quarantine to cancel your quarantine spot. And you will need to contact Immigration New Zealand to request a visa update if you were subject to some kind of visa restrictions and everything like that. In the meantime, all we can say is get vaccinated, Practice good hygiene, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds when you wash your hands and wear masks. We want you all to be safe and we are going to keep you guys updated on any developments on the situation on this channel. So if you're new to the channel, you may want to hit like to say thank you for all the hard work and also hit subscribe if you want to basically get an update and uh, know when our next video is coming up. In the meantime, we'll get back to the live chat to answer your questions.